I'll pull this up on my laptop. I'll pull it up on my laptop. Now, according to this, it says I'm not live. Welcome to live chat. Okay, well, according to the phone, I'm live. According to the internet, I'm not. <laughs> All right, there it is. There it is. Okay, so now I have something up so I can see the chat. I want to show you guys a few things first, real quick, before we get into it. I got a really cool Moon Patrol buggy uh, kit that I printed over the past couple of days that we're gonna we're gonna build. Um, probably not the entire thing, uh, but I wanted to show you that I've been working on my prototype for the 2600 and 7800 dust covers. Um, this was the original design. I just thought it was just too too clumsy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a poll up somewhere and see who likes what better. Um, they fit fine, both of them. But I think that just, that looks a little better. It looks cleaner. It doesn't look as amateur. Uh, I am going to be getting rid of these corners, though. These corners are shut up. And I'm having an issue with squish on the bottom here. Uh, the first couple layers seem to squish up, so I have to sand here. And I don't want to send anything like that out to anybody or sand it myself and have it look ugly. But they do work. They do work. Um, I don't know why I brought this out. Maybe because it's Moon Patrol related. <laughs> but this was a kit I built God, a while ago. There's a video on it. A guy named RK. He's a friend of uh, Willie of Arcade USA. He's on a lot of his live streams. He put this kit together, and I got it through, um, I think it was No Swear Gamer. Yeah. I got it through the No Swear Gamer, and we built it here on the channel. I think it came out great. So, enough of that. You know what? I'll put it, I'll put it right here. Is it in the frame? Yeah, it's in the frame. It's in the frame. So, let me, uh, let me pull out what we got here. See what we're dealing with. So, we got three baggies. We got that one. We got this one, and we got that one. So, take a sip. Um, so we got a bag here of uh, left and right parts. I wanted to keep them separate, so I screw it up. Now, these are just tires. I don't know what makes them left or right. They're both kind of, they're even. I don't know. I don't know. But the suspension parts are in there, too. But we're going to work on this mainly today work on this. This is the main body. I'll pull all the parts out so you can kind of see them for now. Um, so we have the main body, which I want to true up a little bit more. I want to sand it, um, make it a little flatter because it's not really joining too well in the corner here, which is to be expected, I suppose. Uh, same with this corner here. Got a little lifting, a little warpage, but we might be able to remedy that. Looks like a boat, doesn't it? Uh, we have six wheels. It's really interesting how this thing goes together. The suspension deal are these flat things that are kind of curved. They jam into the, the little slots you see there in the bottom piece there. Um, I don't know if they're supposedly flexible or not. I don't see where they are. But according to the uh, the pictures the guy posted on Thingiverse, um, maybe you can print one that looks like it's bent. So you can put it on a rock and it's doing its thing. But I don't know. Uh, so we got two guns. This is the top one, and this is the one for the uh, front. So we're going to have to work those out. These are all the window pieces. These are all the window pieces. You had two choices. Either have it pretty solid and you just paint the windows, or get this recessed one and then print up the windows. I chose to do that because I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm a real glutton for punishment. And uh, these are the pegs to help you... Uh, Put these two together, put that in there for now. And these are the headlights. Oh, the headlights, which I think we're gonna be, uh, I got a blue Sharpie here. I might, I might, I might toss a little bit of blue on them. You never know. I'm pretty sure I cleaned all the parts of the little glue um, when you peel them off of the, the print bed. But we'll see, we'll see. So. I got some tools here. I got sandpaper. I got files. I got all kinds of good stuff. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna put that there so people ask what that is later on. We'll put these parts aside. Oh, look at this! I printed up for a buddy of mine. Can you tell me what that is? He said he couldn't find one. So if there's plenty of files. I'll print you up one. All right. Let me get another sheet of paper here. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go with 220. 220p. 220p. Now, my main goal here today is not necessarily the live stream or anything, really. I just... Uh, maybe just a chit-chat. I do have um, a thumbnail put together for uh, literally streams of just chatting. No games, no none of this. Just me, a microphone, and whatever. Now, you got to remember, I'm home, and it's during the day. So uh, the phone might ring a few times. I never answer it. It's always uh, either telemarketers or scams. Once in a while, if, if, if I have the time, I'll play around with the scammers. But for the most part, nah. I'm not going to not gonna play around with that. All right. I just wanted to clear that up. So I'm honestly not expecting any of these pieces to... Uh, to the mate properly. I I fully expect to have to sand, file pretty much everything before it'll true up to each other. But I don't know. I, I had the time. I had nothing going on today until I have to go to work. And I figured, what the hell? I'm gonna put this together. I was gonna do a video, but instead I decided to do this. Now I also looked for I looked for like a moon surface similar to like this thing here. Let me take the, the buggy off of it. Very similar to this thing here. I don't know if I'm in camera. I'm going to have to wait to see my monitor. All right, it looks like I am. Uh, I'll go a little lower. Um, but either the files were too big to do my thing or they weren't, they did, just weren't going to work for me. So uh, I'm going to have to come up with my own. I do have a model kit up in the attic. It's from Space 1999. It's some weird vehicle that was never even in the show. And it comes with, with, with this alien figure. But more importantly, it came with about this size. Uh, a vacuum-formed moon surface. Maybe maybe I'll bring that down and put it on here. I basically got that buggy to either make a custom vehicle or uh, to kit bash it for other projects. It was, it was like five bucks at a local, uh, not thrift store, but one of those stores that take, like, uh, discounted items that couldn't sell at other stores. And they discounted heavily. It's called the Ocean State Job Lot. They had them not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, I think. I was kind of hoping they would have the, uh, the main ship there. I forget what it's called. I'll be honest with you. Up until the Internet, I didn't even know 1999 existed. <laughs> not the year, the show. I don't remember it. I don't remember watching it as a kid. I don't remember seeing it on TV. But I've been watching it, and it's pretty rad. Pretty rad. I'm basically just going to go until I have an even even amount of sand here. Get rid of all the shiny spots, the high spots. So when you woke up today, did you say to yourself, I'm going to go watch somebody sand plastic? I know I definitely said I was going to do it. <laughs> So we'll go until about 11.30, maybe 11. So I got to get to work around 12.30, and I, I want to charge my phone afterwards because that's what I'm using to stream here. In fact, I'm going to have to check it periodically to make sure it's, uh, make sure the battery's good. Almost there. You see right here where, where it kind of lifted up a little. I'm not expecting to get it perfect. What I really need to get is one of those belt sanders, those little cheap Harbor Freight $50 belt sanders to put on the table. Um, so I can just bzzz, one and done, you know? Set it and forget it. That's what I've been saying about the printer. <laughs> That's what I've been saying about the printer. The Ron Popeil printer. All you gotta do is set it and forget it. Except you do have to babysit the fucking thing. You do have to babysit it. Oh, if you're watching this at work, I didn't even think of that. It's, it's 9.34 here in Boston in the morning. If you're watching this at work, I'm probably going to swear. So um, watch at your own risk. And I'll probably get up to make another cup of coffee at some point. So I don't know. I wish I had a, a flea circus or something for you to, to watch while I get up and do that. 
but oh looks like I got some activity already three likes four watching awesome you know no one's chatting thanks for coming by appreciate it uh, so I have all next week off so I may do stuff like this next week I mean the kids will be home too it's a uh, it's school vacation week um, here in Mass, at least, we have uh, February, the third week in February, and then the third week in April. So I'll be doing a lot more as far as that's concerned. The reason I bring it up is because i got to get that He-Man sword, the sword of power, ready to go. I, uh, I did the first pass of filler primer on the whole thing, and then I did a pass of this stuff right here. This stuff's great. It's cheap. I think this was like five bucks, five bucks. It goes on pink, it dries white. You know exactly what's going on. It's sandable. Um, it's just, it's great. It doesn't stink like, I, I do have uh, Bondo spot putty, which I will be using in a few things for the, the, the sort of power. But that stuff's great for the preliminary. So I got one round of that on both sides and only one side sanded now. So I got to start working on that. It's just, I have to find time like now when the table's clear and there's no one here because I have to load it up with paper because it makes a mess. I mean, I got a little vacuum over here, which you'll see. I'll use it to clean this up, but you know, I don't have my own little shop anymore. I gotta do the stuff on the dining room table. It's all right though. <laughs> uh, tell John says, I'm at work from home. All right, then I can scream fuck all day long. Nah, I'm just kidding. Only use cuss words when it's appropriate. When it's appropriate. It's a really cool design. It, it doesn't resemble the game at all. It, you know what? It might actually look like the 5200 one. Let me look that up. Let me go into a... Let me go to Google. Let me Google my Google. Atari 5200. Ah, it's tough to see. But I remember that one being a little squarer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, let's go back to this. Go back to this. What's nice about this paper is it doesn't it doesn't clog up too quickly. A lot of people say don't use the yellow on stuff that you're going to finish, but I don't know. I don't mind it. What the fuck is under this? That's driving me nuts. Oh, the glue blob. You know, watch out for stuff like that because that could translate into your piece. There we go. I don't know where the hell that went. But. So I don't know <laughs> who's, who's actually watching. If you watched my plug and play review from yesterday, I still haven't found that piece that went flying. In fact, I pulled up the video and paused it on that piece when I first discovered that's what was the problem. And I said to the girls, I said, look, there's a $5 bill in it for you if you find it randomly by accident. 10 if you find it with the screw. So we'll see. We'll see. See, the last game hunter says he's working from home also. Same time zone. Awesome. You know, I I would think working from home would be great. But it would also, I don't know. I know a ton of people that absolutely love it. No commute. They're just in their jammies. They're answering phones and helping people out. I think they're, uh, they're tech consultants or something like that, you know? And... Um, if I were to do it, I think I would enjoy it, but I don't know. It's just like it's, it's home. It's home. I don't want to bring work to home. But I understand why people have to do it right now. And uh, I saw my girlfriend when she first started doing the working at home thing. It was a struggle. It was it was definitely a struggle because there are some times when the girls are home. And, and, and it's hard to tell. I mean, they're 12 now, so it's a little easier. 
Um, but it's hard to tell kids that young. Listen, mom's at work. She's, I know she's here, but you need to pretend she's not. And I think it's tougher on the kid than it is on the adult. They just, they get it, but they don't get it, you know? And you can't blame them. Man, oh, you know what? I think that just warped. We're going to have to just deal with it. I don't feel like doing an actual finish on this. I printed it in red because I wanted it in red. I printed the wheels gray because I wanted them in gray. I just wanted to slap it together. But I think we're always going to have that corner. But that's all right. That's all right. I think uh, it's inevitable. That's just going to have to happen. All right, well, let's get the other part. Let's get the other part going. I know this definitely needs a little bit of a flat love. A little bit of flat love. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd like to work from home. Anything I would do for work, I don't think there is a home equivalent to it. There may be. I don't know. Be nice if I could do this shit for for a living, you know. I put stuff up on my Etsy shop all the time, and sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. I just sold that Jason mask safety mask thing I made. Uh, I think it was last February, actually. No, 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 no. It was it was early April, I think. Late March, early April. It was right when the pandemic really started shutting everyone down. I remember I saw Tom Savini. With his. And I said, oh, yep, I'm going to do that. So I ordered a, a blank from Top Knock Notch Hawks over on Instagram. I mean, I got it from his Etsy shop, but and we made a couple of them. I still have one over here somewhere, but I sold the one I actually made here online. And he, he bought it and then found my video. I was like, oh, shit, I just bought this. I'm like, hey, thanks. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. This is the this one right here is the reason why it's not mating up properly. So the question is, which way am I gonna go with it? Am I gonna go like this? Or like this? I think I think that makes more sense. I don't know. I'm gonna call this A. Let me see if you can even see it. A. And B, because it's kind of, I can kind of do it either way. I think, I think this looks better. I think B looks better, but let me know if anyone's uh, able to click on two buttons, hit a, hit a letter and then enter. I think B is the way to go, but that's A. Either way, they'll, they'll, they'll line up, but I think, I think that's it. I think that's where we're going with this. Let me see how we're doing with the corner. Yeah, that corner is inevitably going to be not together correctly. But you know what? It's all right. It's just a display piece. I'll sand it just for a little bit longer. And then we'll start working on it. Well, I got to clean it up real quick. Um, and then we'll work on getting the pegs to fit in here because I'm pretty sure those aren't going to just slot in nicely. In fact, I think it still has a little bit of flash from the... The, the brim I put on it while it was printing so it wouldn't go floppy floppy on me. All right, we're going to call that good. We're going to call that good. So this is just kind of a heads up. I'm going to use a little shop vac or a little mini vac. So if you want to turn your volume down for a few seconds, I'll count down five, four, three, two, one. All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Let me center this back up. All right. Here we go. Let's pull off the little peggy baggies. The little pegs. Pegs. Now these are going to be used to make the body parts together. 
Um, and they got a little bit of a, like a little flashing on the bottom here. But it's not squish like I was talking about with the other thing. It's it, it, it it's the uh, bed adhesion print part. It's, I think I used a brim. And it's not all. As a matter of fact, I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't clean it off of the suspension pieces. But I printed them with this thing so that they would, you know, adhere to the... Uh, the bed while it was printing because it's such a small part. I didn't want it getting knocked over or, or blown around. I still got to clean this one up, but that's what that's the remnants of. This doesn't have to be perfect. No one's going to see it. It's going to be sandwiched inside the body. Actually, you know what? I have my files here. Use a file. So is it just me, or did this week seem like it just fucking dragged? And maybe it's because I know I'm off for a week afterwards. It could also be because of the two storm snowstorms we got. It's fucking shoveling for three days. Now you do. I, I do the initial. See, our driveway is like it's it's it's. We can get three vehicles in it. We only have two, but um, but there's you know, they're like we have to park like this because our neighbor's driveway is right here connected to ours. So I usually just clear out down here and just leave my truck, leave my truck to be buried in snow till I feel like cleaning it off. And we just use the uh, the Mazda van. Finally got it all cleaned up yesterday, the truck and the driveway. We've got some salt and sand down. Luckily for me, the city has uh, barrels of sand all over the place, you know. Every neighborhood has one on a corner somewhere. And mine's literally right across the street. I can see it right now looking out the window to the right of me. So I go over there and I get a whole bunch of sand and a couple of five-gallon buckets. And then when I'm spreading the salt, I do like a 50-50 blend of sand and salt. It makes a mess, but... My driveway is on an angle, too. So I'm not trying to fucking slide down onto the street. Now, my streets are one way. So um, it doesn't have as much traffic. It has more foot traffic than it does automobile traffic. Um, but still, still, that's a that's an ugly situation if you slide down the driveway. And I've done it. I've done it once or twice. You know, neighbor sometimes parks his work van on the street there in front of his driveway. And I almost slid into that once. Although I would have been like, fuck you. You shouldn't have your, 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 your van there. It should be in your driveway. It's a small street. You know what? This I think this file will work better. I mean, uh, the file wasn't doing shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Much better. It's funny, I originally got this file set for, uh, to do fret work. Long time ago, you know, before Stumac was really a well-known thing, you know, and they were making specific tools for this stuff. Cause you know, back then we didn't, we didn't have luthier tools. We had what we either made or just uh, fashioned from tools that existed like, like these. And what I would do to level them is I would take, uh, I think it was 400 grit, and I would put it on a a, uh, a level beam. And I would literally drag it across very lightly until all the Sharpie marks on the frets were gone. And then I would use a makeshift fret rocker to see if they were level. And then use stuff like this to crown. And fucking people got it so easy today. Yeah, frets that actually are shaped like the crown. You literally just drag it over a couple times, hit it with some steel wool, and polish it. Ah, oh, it's the golden age of being lazy. So many skills are going to start getting lost to tech, you know, to, to conveniences. And it's fine. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind convenience. And I'm not one of those guys that's like, well, I had to work hard doing it, so you have to. Fuck no. 
but at least appreciate the way things were, you know? This is the last one. Let's see if it'll even go in. Let's see if it'll even go in. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers. Are you kidding me? It's not even close. Not even close. I mean, it'll go in this one. No, maybe it won't even go in that one. No, it'll go here. I'm going here. So it looks like we're going to have to reshape the whole thing entirely. That's another thing I've been noticing about 3D printing. Like I printed up um, a stand for Switch games in the cases. And the front of it said Nintendo Switch and had the Switch logo. But it was it was embossed in it. You know, it was, uh, it was carved out of the face, I suppose. And then there was a separate file for the actual words that would inlay, you know? And they didn't go in either. So I had to work those and get them in, and at the end of the day, it looked like shit. So I just left them out. I left them out and said, sorry, buddy. And he's like, that's fine, I don't care. They're probably just gonna get buried on the shelf anyway. I got that package in my car ready to go too. Drop it off today. Actually, I'm thinking about postponing it. Hey, Mr. Paku Paku, if you're watching, I'll message you in a little bit, but I was thinking about postponing shipping you that package. I want to try something, but I'm waiting on a couple more spools of filament with different color. So I might wait until next week to ship out your package. Let's see if I can pull this off. I'd, I'd really like to... It's a surprise, so I ain't going to say what it is. But... I ain't going to say what it is. You know, we'll probably go to like 1030, maybe 11. I don't know. And, um, you know, depending on how things go, I may pick this up later. I may um, just finish it tomorrow live. Or I may do it off camera. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Still nothing. Still nothing. Let me just make sure these are clean. Yeah, these are cleaned out. There's really nothing to... There's no support in here. I don't want to open it up too much, but... Let's see if that did anything. Nah. Yeah, this side seems to be fine. Watch, I'm not going to be able to get that out now. Fuck. Oh no, what I do? What did I do? Actually, you know what? That'll make it easier to grind down a little bit. Happy fucking accidents, Bob Ross. So I thought about getting five minute epoxy to put these together, but we'll see. I mean, I have it right over there. I, I could just do that. All right, let me pull this out. All right, good, 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 good. So now that we know, we know which way we orientate in this. All right, so that's the back. So that's gonna go this way, yep. Let me see if it'll go in here at all. No, still nothing, huh? What in... What in tarnations? Uh, you know what? Let's use a square file, a small square file. Let's, let's do this. Of course, being careful not to file into the into the body itself. I 
God damn it, we're at least going to get these two together before the stream is over. <laughs> Well, maybe if I bevel them a little too. If I bevel it, give it like a little. You know what I'm saying? Almost like a a ramp for it to to do its thing. You know what else I've noticed? This is gonna turn into the poor me, poor me stream. But ever since I got the 3D printer and started doing this stuff again, my fucking hands have been going numb. I got that carpal tunnel crap. I really did anything about it. I mean, I got a brace that I wear at night. And I mainly got it from years and years and years of playing guitar. You know? All right. So this is going to go this way. Can I get it together? Oh, man. What the shit bags? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't have a choice in which way this is going. Unless I want it to overlap. <laughs> like that. I'm over here like debating. Hmm, which one looks good, guys? Which one should we do? BJ, what's up, bud? You know, I'm going to do this. Get a little bit of this. Because it really only needs to help line it up. It's not like it's a, a critical part, you know? In fact, I would like a little wiggle room because I'm already seeing that the ends aren't going to exactly meet up perfectly. Or maybe they will. But I would like a little wiggle room back and forth. So. So what I'm probably going to do then is I'm going to super glue them into here. Put some super glue on the top and then five minute epoxy on the body. Um, just in the center here. And then maybe a little super glue here just to hold it together. I have clamps too. I just. I don't know. That might be overkill. Maybe I'll just super glue the shit out of it. <laughs> you know, let me just dump a whole bunch of gorilla super glue all over it. I love gorilla super glue. Oh, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm happy. We got that one. All right. Let me let me get this one then. Yay. Wow. Eight people watching. I can only imagine that everyone's working from home and just has this on in the background. And that's pretty cool that you guys would do that. Really cool. I'm going to disappear for a minute, though. I want to clean this on, at the sink. Um, I don't want any of that dust in there. When I go to glue them together. So. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty, pretty proud of this thing. Looks good. I think it looks good. Um, I'm thinking about on Etsy offering it as like this and you can buy these all day long. I'll have a whole bunch ready to go or you'll have an option of a custom one where I could take characters from like say Pac-Man. I could put the Pac-Man here and a couple of ghosts. It's all going to be one color um, or ET. I printed up an ET once. I mean, shit, even if you want, I would do it. The running man, <laughs> even though that's in television. I'd put him in here, too. Uh, but that one, you'd have to wait, and it would cost a little bit more. Um, I think that would be cool, though. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the dudes from Adventure. All the dudes. The, the dragon in your square. <laughs> and your sword. A couple of things. Uh, the characters and the, and the sprites from Adventure I can download. Um, Pac-Man I could download. These are all Atari, though. Um... Let's see, who else? There was a whole bunch. Berserk, the dude, the humanoids and stuff from Berserk and the robots. Um, there's a whole bunch of those characters that I can just download and emboss on these or, you know, made them up to this. And it would be rad. It would be rad. It'd be great to see what people come up with, you know, and maybe I'd give them a choice of color 
at the time, you know, because right now I only have black, gray, and red. And I'm limited in all those. So I have a, a batch of filament coming in. Um, let's see. And Telly Amico Vision, not working today, being paid to stay home today and Friday. That's awesome. Nice. Vacation or do they just tell you to stay the fuck home? That brings up a funny story. So I was working in youth corrections for a little while. That's part of my 13 years working corrections. I thought it would be, you know, not easier, but I saved the world one kid at a time. I was wrong. It was no different. He just had an inmate selection that was a little more impulsive. It was no different than the adults, though. But long story short, my captain came up to me or called me on the radio and said, uh, you know, 534, can you come to my office? I'm like, all right, I'm 1019. I show up there. He's like, hey, Chris, you got a whole bunch of vacation time saved up, don't you? I'm like, yeah, I do. You guys won't let us cash out on it. So I'm going to want you to take the next couple of days off. We got we got enough going on here. You work hard. You do a lot of overtime. I want you to take the next couple of days off, all right? I thought it's suspect, but... Or suspect. I don't know why I said it that way. That was weird. But I said, all right, you know, why not? I'll, uh, I'll play ball. So I didn't show up <laughs> for the two days. And I come back. Come to find out... At the time, Janet Napolitano, the godmother, was our uh, governor. And she was doing a tour of our facility. And the powers that be didn't want me anywhere near that facility when she was there. Because <laughs> they know I'm not, you know, I'm not like the others down there. I'm, I'm from Boston. And I'll say what the fuck I want to say when I say it. I used to do it to my captain. I did it to my lieutenant. All my sergeants until I became a sergeant and then went back down to a, you know, I was striving for lieutenant because at least the way it ranked in the, in, in the youth corrections department there is you had, you had, you know, your ones, your twos, your sergeants, lieutenant, captain, and then, you know, so on and so on. But picture this, all right, sergeants and captains, and then you got lieutenant in the middle, all right? So you get the sergeant, the captain, and your lieutenant. If the captain comes to you as a lieutenant and says, hey, what's going on on this shift? I say, okay, captain, let me refer to the sergeant. I'll get back to you. If the sergeant comes to me with a problem, I say, you know what? Let me go see the captain, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> it's that nice sweet spot right between the two where you're not really dealing with too much shit. You know, shit will roll up and downhill. Not to say that my lieutenants didn't work hard, but you get what I'm saying. I, 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 I aspired. Blaine, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Let's see. In the UK, we are being told to stay home as much as we can due to COVID. All right. And television, Amico Vision. I think I'm just going to call you Vision. I don't want to say that every time I, I refer to you. Um, Vision also says it's the UK furlough scheme. <laughs> Only being worked three days a week from last March. Wow. I work for the schools and they shut down... It was late March, early November, uh, November, early April last year. And um, because of the way my contract works and how we get paid, I got paid the whole school year. Okay, so this fits just fine on this side. Let me make sure I'm doing the right side here. All right, yep, we're good. We just need to get it to go in here now, which is weird because this still has a little bit of, a little bit of spaghetti still in there. From the support. There we go. But it fit in there just fine. Okay, so now we need to get it to work in this real quick. Real quick. Blaine, 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 buddy. How you been, man? If you guys haven't seen Blaine's channel, you gotta go check it out. His uh his tech stuff is amazing. I learned so much from him. I may not interact as much because I that's just how I am. I get overwhelmed having to interact with every channel I watch. And I watch most of you guys every day. So don't think I'm not there in the fucking shadows. I'm called the creep for a reason. No, I just couldn't come up with a name. And I like Atari. Um, 
But I learned so much from this channel. Hacking into stuff, making things work better. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Let's see, Blaine says, I don't talk about it a lot. But I'm retired. Oh, hit me up sometime. And I'll tell you about it. Uh, it's short. I had a safe, positive career that I'm proud of. That's awesome. That's great, man. I had a very safe career. I, I only did 13 years. And then my doctor found that my sacrum was deteriorating. And that's right at the base of your spine. I call it a hip issue because it connects to the hip. Um, and that's the problem. It's rotting away from my hip. And he's like, dude, if you take a hit the wrong way, you're, you're down. We don't know if you're going to be dead or paralyzed or, or what your deal will be. So I opted not to take a desk job. I opted just to retire. All right, that went in there just fine. Oh, look at that, boys and ghouls. Yeah, this corner is going to bug me. You know what I can do after it's together later on? I can heat it up a little bit and pinch it together and hopefully not melt it. All right, guys, uh, sit tight. I'm going to clean these off real quick so that there's no uh, dusty residue. Uh, we're going to bring out the vacuum again, and I'll, I'll give you a heads up before we turn it on uh, just to clean this up because you always want a clean work surface. Uh, give me about, I don't know, two minutes. Give me two minutes here. Look at my dust cover that I'm, I'm, I'm designing and working on. It's pretty. Just stare at it. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Before we put these down, they're still a little damp. I'm going to vacuum this. So I'll give you guys the countdown before I turn it on so you can turn your volumes down. Hey, my buddy Coleco Joe just messaged me. I'm not going to get back to him in a few minutes. Okay, we got five, four, three, two, one. All right, good enough for government work anyway. All right, you know what? We are going to do some two-pot epoxy in. Two-pot epoxy. Show you guys a little, little trick. What we have here is a silicone mold of a Necronomicon. Got a whole bunch of these on my Etsy shop. A whole bunch of nifty colors. And, of course, there's regular ones. Um, I used to have a pad. I had a little extra silicone left over from pouring a mold. So I poured it into a round container and made like a puck. And I would use, I use that for my epoxy mixing. I just don't have it now. I don't know what this shit happened to it. Um, but I use this. I don't like to use the cardboard. I don't know why, but it'll just peel right off afterwards. So let me just make sure these are dry. I don't think we're going to even use any, uh, super glue. I think I'm just going to epoxy the two, hopefully get no squeeze out. All right. Yeah, this side's a little, little wet. Too, too pretty. All right, let's see. Uh, I didn't talk about it a lot. Okay. That must be referring to something I just said. <laughs> oh, oh, this. Maybe this. Is that what you're talking about, Blaine? How pretty it is? How pretty it is. I'm really excited about these. It's like the first like actual engineered product I've ever truly came up with. You know, everything else is like a culmination of something else. I don't know. But I really like the idea of just making a whole bunch like this. And then giving the option of a customized one with your favorite Atari characters on the inside. It'll work for both the 7800 and the 2600. 
Um, I, I promise this isn't supposed to be an infomercial. <laughs> um, it's loose in the 7800, but it will still block dust from coming in, you know. Whereas in the 2600, it, it, it slots in pretty tightly like a cartridge. I don't understand how that works, but it's the same fucking card slot. Oh, you know what? I should have probably cleaned up the edges here. I'll do that once it's all together. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get some of this stinky shit down. All they have are these little tubes. I hate that. I hate spending the money for these little, you know. I'm not going to need that much. I'm not going to need that much. You know, when I can just get the big one for like maybe 40 cents more. I mean, I'm not a, a thrifty guy, but for love of God. Mmm. Sweet epoxy smell. All right. Maybe, maybe I am going to need a little bit more. Nope. Well, this should do. Like I said, I'll put a little bit of super glue on the edges. I, I, I just said I wasn't going to, but I'll put some. Actually, I'll put them in here. I'll put them in there. And I'll try to thin this out as much as I can so there's no squeeze out. Man, I made a, a concept. I'll put this here to be our, our proof. Where else do we need a little bit more? We're going to need it over here. This will be our proof right here to show us whether or not the silicone is ready to rock and roll. I made a Baby Yoda concept lightsaber. And I used uh, epoxy in here to keep it together. And I got a little squeeze on no matter how hard I tried. Driving me nuts. Ah, oh, shit stinks. So we'll, we'll, put it, we'll put it on the pegs. We'll put it on the pegs. All right. Let's get these together. Beautiful. Let me get the clamps. Let me get my cramps. My menstrual cramps. Dollar Tree, yo. No joke, these are Dollar Tree clamps. <laughs> All right. There we go. Now we get to watch glue dry. No, just kidding. Um, let's get the guns working. Let's get the guns going. I'll bring a smaller piece. A smaller piece, because I know these are definitely going to need some uh, some love to work out together. Uh, where's the other one? There it is. It's a stick. It's a stick. Oh, I can't I can't see my my Moon Patrol model from RK. You know, I keep bugging RK and Willie. About RK making more of these video game themed model kits, actually in a larger scale. Like the, I was surprised about how big this thing, uh, how big this thing is. Uh, I'll put it up next to a, a Matchbox or a Hot Wheels cat here in a little bit, so you get an idea of the scale here. But um, I kept bugging them, dude. We need more video game model kits. Come on! Now they got a 3D printer. It's kind of like I'm not waiting for you anymore. I'm just kidding. As he makes them, I'll probably build them. Okay, what do we got going on here? I pre-ordered the Woody Founders Edition. I got the Founders Edition too, bro. Oh, my God. I am so excited. So excited. Way more excited than a lot of my friends think I should be. I got a lot of friends that are very anti-Amico. And uh, I, I don't even understand how that works, being anti-anything that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> But he's not a big fan of the, the the concept of it. He doesn't like the console, and he's not a friend. He's not a he's not a fan of Tommy Tallarico at all. Um, and you know, to each their own. There's 31 flavors for a reason. But I'm still excited. I was still, hey retro bro, what's up, man? Good morning. Um, the lightsaber is awesome. Thank you, thank you, Pixel. Thank you. Um, but I'm still excited. I gotta. I'm not lying to you. I've been saving up for it. I don't have the expendable income to just shell out a couple hundred bucks for something like that. So I get this jug behind me that I put coins, ones, and fives in as I can. 
And that's how I got the money for the down payment. Plus, we're going to Disney in July. And I want to do, oh, my God, that was violent. And I want to do uh, Savvy's Workshop and do a droid. The droid builder. <laughs> you think you can foil me? I think this one's next. I think that one's next. Um, so I get this bucket behind me. Saving up for those very reasons. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll have money at Disney, but it's fun saving up. It's fun saving up. So that's how I'm paying for my founder's edition. There was that one time where I almost messaged Tommy being like, look, dude, I can't do it. It was during the whole COVID thing, but we worked it out. We worked it out because my lady wasn't working. And I actually had to tap into the uh, savings bucket a couple of times just for stupid things like gas. And you know, we had plenty of food and stuff. Electricity was not in danger of going out. But yeah, I got I got the founders edition. Man, I kept hitting refresh that morning. That was an exciting morning for me. Really exciting. Or afternoon, whatever it was, I don't remember. I think it was afternoon because it was all done in California time and I'm on the East Coast, so. But regardless, I kept refreshing and refreshing and refreshing. And then finally I got the email. I'm like, yoink, yoink, yoink. And I don't know if y'all remember when it first came out. Um, nobody was really getting any notifications <laughs> aside from that PayPal gave in television a hundred bucks. Nobody got, <laughs> hey, Relic Gamer, what's up, bud? Um, wanted the Galaxy Purple, but that has, yeah. I wanted to do the Purple for the Alzheimer's Association. I was going to get a, a white decal and slap it on there and give it away. But because it is exclusive to whatever, I didn't even bother asking Tommy to donate one. I was going to ask him. I was straight up going to be like, hey, Tommy, can I get a Galaxy Purple one to give away for the Alzheimer's Association? Which, by the way, I just registered two nights ago. Um, February is when you register. The, the date for the walk is to be determined. It's usually uh, in late September. Probably the, the the weekend before the last weekend, so to speak. You know, one of the last weekends in September. It's usually around like the 25th or the 26th. Which is Atari Day, by the way. Um, well, I was going to try to get the, the purple one to give away. for Because that's the color of Alzheimer's. They chose purple to be their, their representative color. But back to uh, pre-ordering, everyone, including me, was all kinds of like, oh, my God, where's my – start saying I pre-ordered, <laughs> you know? It was my first time pre-ordering anything like that. So, of course, you know, I was fucking nervous. I, I mean, I knew Tommy regardless would have made it right, but I don't know. I'm excited. I don't think we're going to get it in April, though. Unless he's already announced it. <laughs> I haven't heard anything, but I haven't really been keeping my ear to the ground. I got a few things going on here, so. Oh, Blaine, dude, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, man. Some ones for the bucket. <laughs> you know what? Most of the time when I pull this money out, I just give that to the Alzheimer's Association. But I will be sure to put $5 in the bucket for this very thing. Thank you, Blaine. I appreciate it. You know, I still haven't done anything with the uh, the Lunar Project on that Genesis Mini that, that you shipped out to me. I need to get on that and get that thing loaded up. Watch your video again and learn how. I am so stupid when it comes to that. Hey, I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys a project I've been hinting at. Because I'm tired of fucking... Uh, yeah, maybe July, which is going to be tough because that's when, that's when I'm going to be in Disney. A project that I've been working on that I haven't been keeping too secret, but secret enough, I suppose. I've been hinting at it. I built my own VCS. <laughs> I printed my own VCS. This in the He-Man Power Sword was the main reason why I wanted a 3D printer. And it just so happened after I got done building it, 
uh, Micro Center, which has those uh, a lot of Atari stuff, the big joystick, the huge Atari plug-and-play joystick, uh, arcade stick, as well as that Atari Pi bundle that I talked about. As a matter of fact, I said, you know, print one of these and get that, and you'll have your VCS. Um, they sent me a coupon for a free Pi Zero W, which just means it's wireless. It's got it's got um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or something. I don't know. They gave me a free one. So I went down there, got some filament. Actually, this filament here is from that store. And I got the Pi for free. I printed this case, and I redesigned this rear panel. Oh, no, it's not in there yet. It's not in there anymore. This rear panel to accept it. And if you're on my Instagram, you've seen this already. So I'm, I got a buddy of mine, Clico Joe, who's going to help me out uh, loading the thing. And the reason I brought that up is because um, my Genesis Mini does have the Lunar Project on it. And I haven't done anything with it because I, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, my buddy Clico Joe and I were talking last night. I'm like, can you put Retro Pie on something without actually having the Raspberry Pi? He's like, yeah. So he's going to help me out with that. I'm going to send him on an SD card. And I'm going to do all pre-NES. I'm hoping to have, of course, 2600, 7800, 5200 is a little tough. So I'm going to leave that be. I have I have that here on my laptop. Uh, I'm going to try to get a Mag Magnavox Odyssey emulator for it. I'm definitely going to get Atari 8-bit, eight eight, you know, the 800, 400 series, XEGS. Because they had a few games that won't play on the older 8-bit computers. Um, maybe some Fairchild. You did the older stuff, that generation. And that's all that's going to go on. No fucking Nintendo. Uh, Clico might go on there in television, of course. I may skip it in television. I don't know. We'll see. I can play in television on my computer and, you know, like on in television. But my main thing is to get a lot of the older, more obscure systems... But all right, let me clean up this side a little bit and see if it'll even go in. I think we can. I think we can remove the clamps before they go flying and take an eyeball out. It's all fun and games till someone losses an eye. Ooh, almost, almost. I gotta be careful though. This, I guarantee you, this is gonna break if I if I use that to to do my do my my thingy my thingy. Let's see, Odyssey 2, yes, yes. I don't have a lot of experience with the Odyssey 2. And I keep seeing Willie and Phil, uh, Arcade USA and um, uh, No Swear Gamer playing the Odyssey 2. And, and I, I just, I, I got to experience it. I want to try it out. I want to try it out. <laughs> Wish I had higher grit. I'd like to clean this up because you're going to be able to see some of these sand lines. You know, I was actually originally thinking about offering this up on my Etsy shop afterwards, but I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be product ready. Oh man, that's, that's almost there. Almost. I'm getting here. I'm getting here. What time do we have here? Oh, it's only 10.24. Ha, ah, that was a code for disturbance on unit. See, when I worked in the youth corrections, I didn't actually work in the housing units when I first got there. The first five years or so I did. And then I started working in the housing unit. But I was on, uh, they called it security because, you know, it's, you're dealing with youth. But it was like this weird old mini police department within the department. So you had your housing staff, which wore like a polo, a gray polo with the... Uh, the department insignia on the chest. And we wore the full fucking tan uniform badge and all that crap. And whenever the unit had an issue that they couldn't deal with, they would call us. We basically just patrolled. Yeah, we were basically security, I guess. I guess that's an appropriate name now that I think about it. But they would call 1024, multiple youth fighting or, you know... It was one time we had this one we had this one officer that worked in the housing units. He was crazy, like fun crazy. He was constantly getting yelled at for his radio etiquette. <laughs> Me too as well. 
Um, there was a food fight in the cafeteria, which you don't do. That's one thing pretty much universally. Every prison I've ever worked in, everyone had a, uh, hey, Charon, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Um, you don't fuck up mealtime. Everyone wants to eat. But somehow, some reason, they had a food fight that day, and it was hot dog day. So the guy calls in, and he's like, uh, unit, what's it, whatever. The control, we have a 1024 in Mess Hall South. And just left it at that for a minute. So dispatch was like, 10-4, uh, what's the nature of the call? And dude's like, weenies flying everywhere. Hurry up, please. Uh, we go in there cracking up this fucking hot dogs literally flying everywhere and ketchup and oh man I ended up having to put my hands on a couple of inmates that day a couple of residents that was funny like just drop the fucking hot dogs actually one dude had the big jug of juice and he's the one I had to go after he, had to, he was about to dump it on somebody Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right. You know what? I'm calling that good. I'm calling that good. I'm going to rough up inside here just a little bit to give the glue something to, to sticky, sticky on. Weenies flying everywhere. <laughs> I got, I'll tell you two fun Chris got in trouble at work stories. I, uh, Cold and old. Yeah, same here, buddy. Same here. Um, uh, the original Odyssey, Dane? Probably not. Uh, that requires too much physical things that I don't have. And I don't know. Uh, let's see. Fits like a well-oiled glove. Yes, it does. So we had a couple of folks. Now, mind you, I was in Arizona at the time. And here I am with my accent and whatever. We had a couple of good old boys working for us. Really cool guys. And one of them, there was a unit called Wolf. Okay. Uh, the units on this one facility were all named after uh, indigenous animals. Wolf, coyote. Um, I think uh, bear was one of them. Unit bear. So, you know, you get the idea. Elk. Unit elk. And every time he would, um, I'm just going to square this up in the corner here. Every time he would say, you know, okay, we would do a round to make sure the units were fine, you know. We would just go in, see if anyone needed anything. You know, we helped out, both both the, the, the residents and the staff members. You know, we'd go around, hey, guys, anyone need anything? And anyone want to do a work crew today? That kind of thing. But we would do what they call a code 20, which is a safety and security check. <laughs> So the way it would go is you say, hey, 534 to control, unit wolf, code 20, code 4. In other words, saying, I just went into unit wolf and everything's fine. But this guy would say, woof. <laughs> he would say, woof. And it drove me nuts to a point where I finally got on the radio. And I was like, 534 to so-and-so. He's like, go ahead, sir. Said, sir, be advised, there's an L in the word wolf. <laughs> My captain's like, 534, can you go to channel 4, please? <laughs> <laughs> Get in my office now. Oh, man. I got in big trouble for that one. We had a perimeter truck. Uh, where's, where the fuck did they put my glue? Okay. We had a perimeter truck on the outside. The 1039 perimeter. And, uh... Hold on a second here. We were literally in the middle of the desert. It's this town called Buckeye. Hey, Armando, good morning, buddy. Um, <laughs> in the middle of Buckeye, Arizona, like literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was satisfying as all get out. Uh, nice. Oh, that makes me feel good. I get a little bit of squeeze out here. I just got it on my hands. Uh, my hands are going to smell like fucking epoxy all day now oh yeah mixture of meth and skunk i guess i don't know i don't know what meth smells like uh where's my brush 
So I worked the Owen ice for a number of years because I just preferred it. No suits on the on the facility. After a little a little while, you know, I'll quiet it down. See, the overnight was the office of everything else. You know, most people would go to work. And then they'd take, take like a 15-minute break. And they'd go back to work. Eventually take a lunch. Then go back to work. And then eventually another 15 minutes or so. Ours, ours was the opposite. We uh, did a lot of things in the first hour or two. And then the rest of the night was just like whatever. Every now and again, we would... Uh, just check out the units or we would take care of the mail or something stupid like that. Well, it got boring at night. So I'm doing a perimeter and I stopped at the far end of the facility where the desert's literally backed up against us um, to eat my food. And there was a berm, like a berm just on the other side of where I was parked. I see these little glowing eyes. It's a fucking coyote. <laughs> it's a coyote. So every night I did 1039, I would go down there and we had these things called bag nasties. They're the lunches that they would leave for the staff and or uh, say any of the inmates that didn't get to eat because of whatever reason. There was literally like just a bologna sandwich, a bag of real stale chips and powdered grape drink. That was horrible, by the way. So I'd grab a couple of those and I'd throw them out on the berm. It got to the point where, like, I had four or five coyotes that would come up to me. And they would start following the truck as I drove around the perimeter of the facility. <laughs> they got so brave around people that they started going to the actual parking lot and begging at employees' cars. So I'm at home on my day off, and I get a call from the captain. Call, you need to get your stupid ass up here now. So I go in. I get the local fishing game fucking warden or whatever the hell you call him. Him. I got the facility. Uh, you would call him the warden, but we call him the facility administrator. <laughs> All screaming at me. Did you really domesticate a whole bunch of fucking coyotes? I would pet them. They were like my buddies, my overnight buddies. I'm like, I fed them. I got to pet them. Well, we got employees that won't come out of their car now because... These coyotes are walking over you. So now the coyotes all have to be have to be relocated. <laughs> have to be relocated because they're not fit for the wild anymore. I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> it was like $1,500 per coyote. And they had to do like six or seven of them. Whatever ones would come to cars. They basically had the fishing game there for like a month hanging out, waiting to see which ones would uh, approach humans and which ones wouldn't. Yeah. My bad, I didn't know. See, Jonathan says, you don't know what mess smells like? Well, come visit South Illinois. Plenty of it around. Dude, I was in Arizona for 15 years. I know what mess smells like. <laughs> oh, man. I know. I was just being goofy. Uh Sometimes I try to make jokes and words just come out of my mouth. That's why I said it smells like skunk and meth. It doesn't. It smells like skunk and chemical. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. That's purdy. So the question is, I'll just put a drop. I'll put a couple drops on here. A couple drops on here. I'm surprised by how many people are actually here. I should stream during the morning more often. Hopefully this won't squeeze out in the end. Oh shit, that's a little bit, a little bit much. No, 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 drippy, drippy. I'm gonna make a cardinal sin and use my hands to remove it. Now this is a keyed a specific way. Bam! There we go. There we go. Let me see if I can't. It's probably stupid to do, but look at that. Pew, 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 pew. Let's blow up rocks. As a matter of fact, I got a comment today on my um, <sighs> Moon Patrol demo from the Amico app. The guy's like, you got to shoot the rocks to get more points. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm sorry I didn't blow up enough rocks for you, buddy. I'll blow up more rocks next time. I haven't played that in a while, actually. All my buddies did challenges with it and stuff. I just don't, I don't know. I don't have time for that. 
So what are we going to do next? Are we going to do windows or are we going to do um, headlights? Ah, that corner. That corner is going to bug me. Uh. Yeah, leave it alone, Chris. Just leave it be. Let's leave it be. Um, let's do this. Let me pull out the headlights. See if they even fit in yet. And I got a shoppy here. I'll make them blue. Maybe I'll keep them white. I don't know. I don't know. All right. There's the headlights. Headlights. Yeah, man. After today, one more day and I'm on vacation. And they haven't really released tomorrow, which means I get done even sooner. Man, these things are tiny. I got fat fingers. I just want to know if it'll even go in. No, of course it's not going to. Why would it do that on the first shot? You know, it's not like these things weren't designed to work together. I'm not complaining. I actually enjoy this part. I really do enjoy this. Do you enjoy watching me sanding things? I hope so. Because that's what model building is all about, sanding. Well, I missed the start. Is this a model kit or a 3D print? This is a 3D printed model kit. I was going to be a smart ass and say yes. <laughs> but over the course of the past couple days, I did print this. It's on Thingiverse, if you want it. The body comes in a couple of different configurations. You can print it where you can put the windows in yourself, or there's less of a indent here, and you either paint it or just leave it be. Um, and, of course, there's a file for the windows themselves. <sighs> oh, I'm wondering. Hold on. I may have just flubbed up. Where is it? Am I going to be able to get the front windshield in there? With the gun in the way? Oh, thank you. Maybe not. Maybe not. Shit, is that locked in? Oh, no. Oh, man. Wait a minute, this just seems so big. That's what she said. Oh, that's, that's poo-poo. I'm going to have to find a way to get that out of there. Oh, fuck. I don't think that's coming out. I put a lot of glue on that. Shit. Oh, <laughs> no. No. All right, well, it is what it is, I suppose. Fuck. All right, well, let's continue with the headlights. <laughs> uh, if I have to grind this out, I'm not going to be all that upset about it. I'll just fill it with some putty or something later on. All right, that's backwards. That's backwards. See, there's a specific way that this has to go in, too. There's a, a lip on the top of the headlight. I'm trying to figure out where it is. There we go. Yeah, a little more sanding. Just a little more. I got to get going on 3D printing. You know what? It, I've been having so much fun. So much fun. Yeah. Um, what did I say I was going to call you? Vision? <laughs> Um, it's wicked relaxing. If you're talking about the sanding. Unless, of course, you do something like this. Oh, man, that, that's going to piss me off. You know what? And I'm looking at it now, and I pushed it in too far, too. I think I pushed it in too far. Well, I saw this. There's a, there's a, a stop right here. So maybe I didn't push it in too far. I don't know. Shit. And if you look here, there's like a, an angle that this is supposed to just slip right into. Man, maybe I can heat it up and pull it out. 
Oh, that's in there. Oh. Uh, back to you, Jonathan, though. Yeah, I've been having such a great time with the, the 3D printer. It hasn't really stopped once since I got it. Well, one day it did because I wanted to get some new nozzles. And the one I had was clogged, and I didn't realize I had a spare. So I ordered that and a whole bunch of tubing. and It was like this big kit. Pretty cool stuff. So it didn't print that one day, but I got the stuff the next day. And uh, it hasn't run yet today. It hasn't run yet today. I mean, I guess technically it did. I went to bed with this printing. I think it didn't stop until like 1 in the morning. Well, technically it ran today. You know what? I wonder... Do a little of this too. Because it like almost wants to go in. Yeah, like it's almost there. All right, let me see just a little bit more. Oh no. Some heat chemicals can get it out. I don't think the glue set yet. You know, I'll, I'll figure it out. Check your Facebook Messenger when you get a chance. I sent you a message last night. I think I saw that, bud. I'm very Facebook lazy. I despise Facebook. I mean, I'll go in and post something real quick, but I don't really look around too much. You know what I want to show off? <laughs> hey, dig me. Look what I got. Look what I did. Praise me. There's like this one spot right here. I feel like punish props. He does it like this. That's a great channel too. That's a great channel. I can't believe I fucking did that. Um, worst comes to worst, I could just drill it out and print up a new one. Seriously, I may just do that. I may just chop it off, drill it out. <sighs> Fucking Chris. That's why you dry fit things, you know what I mean? Like if this were a guitar, I'd have the whole thing put together before I finish it, you know? There's no point in finishing the guitar if you can't get the fucking thing to line up or work together, you know? <laughs> Dry fitting to plan your uh, your next move. All right. Uh, no, I think I want it to go the other way. <laughs> I couldn't get it in a few minutes ago. Now I can't get it out. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. All right. Um, uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do the sharpie afterwards. I'm gonna put a drop of glue in here. Where where is my glue now? What do I do with it now? That's half of my model making skills. Where the hell is this? Where the hell is that? Just a tiny little drop. I'm gonna put the the lens popping out in the bottom like that. And make sure it's straight where my pliers. Ah, oh, you bastard. Oh, don't do that. That's the opposite of what I want you to do. Uh, glue's drying up on me here. All right. There we go. I don't know if that's all the way in there with the glue. Maybe I'll just do this. <laughs> Let the glue drip on it. All right. Now let's see if we can't get the other one to, to cooperate. Nope. Nope. Yeah. 
Just smash the one now. Oh, just smash it a like now. I'm going to go get lunch. Nice. Hope you have something on me. Dizzy. You are correct, sir. I have no idea what you're saying that to. Please elaborate. But I am correct. I know. <laughs> I'm always right. Just ask the women in my house. You notice I said that while they're not home. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drumble this out. That's bugging me, and I'll just I'll just I, I, the gray is hooked up right now, so I'll print up another one. That really fucking aggravates me. It's my mistake. It was my mistake, but still. My rookie mistake, not trying to fit things together to see what's up. Oh, let me clean this out a little bit. You know what? If I was painting this, I probably would have done that. I would have made sure everything fit together just right before gluing it up. Because I like to paint things separate. I mean, I would have done the body um, as one, but... Because I'd, I'd want to fill that. But if I were going to paint this kit, I like to paint my models in, in sections, not as a whole. A lot of people like to do that. And I'm not really a fan of taping things off because I'll be perfectly honest with you. I suck at it. I fucking suck at it. Ooh. Um, and I always end up getting some kind of over, you know, over brush or over spray, you know, depending on what it is, you know. I, 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 like if I'm building an actual car model, I'll do the engine first like most people, but I'll be painting the pieces as I go. And the only downside to that really is, is if you screw up and you get the glue to squeeze out a little too much, it can fuck up the paint and then you just got to touch it up and all that, which is obnoxious, but I'd rather do that. Got to get back to work. I'll watch the replay. Cool, man. Thank you so much, Dizzy, for popping in, man. What she said, <laughs> you are correct, sir. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. <gasps> All right. Oh, I see what you're saying. You were responding to somebody else. You were responding to Jonathan. Never said I was bright, guys. I never said I was bright. So what we'll do is I will get the rest of the windows in. <laughs> providing I didn't fuck any of that up. And I may call it a morning. I get cleaned up for work anyway. And then at some point today, I'll drill this out. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow morning. We'll come back tomorrow morning. I'll do this again. Um, and we'll finish it up. We'll finish it up. This is fun. This is fun. Oh, no, you ain't going to bug out like that. Oh, hell no. There is nothing worse, nothing worse than gluing something up and then realizing it was a little goofy and not being able to fix it. You know what I mean? I mean, it's plastic. It can always be fixed. All right, which way did I orientate this? Okay. I orientated this with the lens popping out, not the, the flare. I think it just looks better that way. Almost. Almost. It's like this. You know what? Oh, there will be blood. Fuck guessing with sandpaper, you know? Just bring the blade into it. Oh, my God. Just like that.
Pam, 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 pam. All right, let's see what that did. Let's see what that did. That, my friends, is about as good as that's fucking ever going to get. Oh, yeah, I can't even get it out now. Nice. Nice. Mm, only a dab will do. Let me clean out that little. There was a little, little dusties, dusty residues. There we go. Get no drippy, drippy. All right, let me turn that. So it's upright. Ma'am, there we go. There we go. Now, they're not perfect, but you know what? It's all right. You know what I could do? Like I said, there's an angle to this right here. I don't know if you can actually see it. And, and the window is designed to slot in there. Well, on this side it does. <laughs> but you get the idea. Oh, no. Duro's doing it upside down. Slot in there and slide in. And then this is supposed to butt up against that. I bet you if I go in there with my file and just make it at an angle, with, once this slides in, no one would be the wiser. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Um, probably not right now. But I think, I think that's my huckleberry right there. Um, I'm going to debate on coloring these for now let's get the other window pieces let's get the other window pieces oh wow that went in no problem huh interesting I do need to do one little bit of sanding but aside from that nice alright well let's sand the bottom of it Oh, shit. Well, that's what you get for having fat fingers. All right, what, what are you saying, Dan, here? Got to get going myself. Have a great rest of your day, okay? Yeah, I will, man. You too. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I really do. You know, I, I, I have this laptop and everything. to. Well, I'm actually using my cell phone, but... <laughs> the stream. I never do it anymore. I don't know why. I just I I get the 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 gusto to do it. I get all excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then by the time everything's set up and what have you, kind of don't want to do it anymore. I just lost the thing. You know, I don't know if it's an, a nervous thing or what. But all right, this is going to need just a little bit more. Unless it's supposed to sit like that. I mean, let me really look at this. Let me get my glasses on. Let me get my glasses on. Um, there's a lip in there. Yeah, I think I need to sand this just a little bit more. The question is at the top or the bottom? I think I'll just do it on one side. Normally, I would try to do a little bit on one side and then a little bit on the other. I'm just going to do it here. So I can see the angle I need it. I don't want to sit there and keep guessing on both sides. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to clean up on the side here too okay so that's good now i gotta do the side all right all righty then as it was written it shall be done
There is another Moon Patrol buggy kit that looks actually a lot closer to the, the real deal, so to speak. Oh, almost. Almost. Like, that's so almost I can't get it out. Almost. All right, let's go. Maybe I do have to do a little on the top. Just a slight bit over on this side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bam. All right. Let me see if I can get out so I can glue it. <laughs> That's not coming out. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Shit, maybe I don't need glue. There we go. I would prefer it, though. Plus, I want to clean this up a little. All right, so let's, uh, let's scuff this up a little. There's a little, a little nub right here, too, that's been bugging me. Actually, let me use this. We may have to weather this afterwards. I'm not doing very good at, you know, at um, keeping it from needing to be cleaned up afterwards. All right, let's... um. Just minimal, right here in the middle. Right there, that's that's good enough. There it is. Shit, did I get schmeggy on there? Schmegma? I got some schmeg. Some schmegger, schmeggerson. All right, let's do one of the side ones. I hate you, gun. All right, so this one is going to be on this side. Ooh. I'm just noticing now that there's some, uh, some adhesion this is, or, uh, you know, layer line stuff. I didn't notice that before. Or my printer just didn't quite, quite make, make the grade. That's all right, though. All right, so maybe we are going to put a little bit of paint on this in the future, you know. All right, so what do we need to do to get this to work? Looks like just a little bit here. Okay. Okie dokie. What we'll do is we'll get the, the windows together, maybe get the wheels and the tires put together, and then I think I'll call it a morning. It's what, now 11, 11 o'clock? Yeah, that's, I didn't notice that. There's, um, that's horrible. Okay, yeah, I need more. I need more sanding. I move my hand so you can see what's going on. Oh, just a hair. Just a hair on the top. A little more. Just a little more. Fucking ass. 
powerful. <laughs> You know what it could also be because of the way that printed too. Man, I wish I had noticed that already. Stop dropping out of my Oh Ooh, stop. Fuck. Just a little bit more of race here in this corner. I should have the 120 out. I bet the 120 would take care of this in a second. All right, that'll go in. I think because of the way it printed, it's just not going to. So all I'm going to do is I am going to clean this up. Clean this part. I'm going to glue it in and just hold it. Just hold it. Oh, man. Let me uh, scuff this up. So I heard McDonald's is bringing back high C orange. I don't know how true that is. I'm not much of a fast food guy. But I did like that stuff. Though it did give me a fuck ton of hot burn. Hopefully, I'm not the only one, <laughs> you know? There we go. I'll just, I'm just going to hold this until the glue sets. You know, it's in there. It's just, it wants to spring back out on the top here, so. And I think a lot of that has to do with the way this section here printed. Ah, that's too bad. Should have went with the idea of painting it because there's a lot of things I need to fill to make it, you know, display worthy, I suppose. All right, we're going to hold this just for a few more seconds. Well, that's doing that. But yeah, they're bringing high C back. And I used to get that and a quarter pounder for lunch. I don't know how. I, I'm not a fan of fast food. Never really have been. Ah, oh, it's not going in on the top here. Uh, uh, what is that? Never seen that here in the UK from McDonald's. It's just like an orange drink. It's a soft drink. It's not bubbly or anything. It's not like soda. Um, it's just basically uh, juice. Um, do you have High C over there in the UK? The brand High C? Like, I think they're the ones who made, like, Ecto Cooler and all that crap. It's just basically an, a tangy orange drink. Really sweet. But it's so good. It's so good. That's the best I'm going to get that for now. Oh, that's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. Well, while I'm doing that, let me see what the other uh, window has in store for us. Okay, so you don't have high C over there, huh? Um, it's just a water-based drink with uh, artificial flavors and sweeteners and all that crap. Um, think of it like a, a ready-made Kool-Aid, I guess. I don't know. Maybe someone else can describe it a little bit better than me. But it's just an orange, it's your typical orange drink. I can't imagine you guys just got the McRib, did you? 
That came back last month for us. I don't know if it's still out in the in the market. But that's a real popular sandwich. It's one of those sandwiches that are disgusting. But disgusting in a yummy kind of way. I love the McRib. Absolutely love it. And um, I ate as much of it as I could to my doctor's chagrin. I told him, too. I said, look, right around my next uh, follow-up appointment, I'm going to have a couple of um, McRibs before I show up. Not that day, but I'm just warning you right now. And he's like, don't do it. I said, I'm doing it. Yeah, see, that one, that one went really well. That one went really well. Nice and easy. Oh, I don't think I did this to the other one, though. Scored it. Although, this is the side where it was on the, the print bed, so it has the texture of my mat. So I'm, I'm confident enough that it would... Let me... Let me put it up in the corner here. That's probably what I should have done with the first one. Made sure that the corner's got the glue too. Yeah, see that just slips right in nice. Really nice. You know what, I'm pulling this one out. Oh, it didn't even touch any of the glue. All right, let me, let me sand up a little bit more here. All right, well that's a happy accident. Why couldn't that have happened with the gun? Oh, now it's sticking to me. <laughs> All right, let me do the same thing I just did there. Let me put some glue up here on the top. Because that's where it didn't want to connect. There we go. Right up in there. Right up in there. Oh, yeah, that, that, that worked like a charm. Just a quick another little sanding. I got impatient, I suppose. All right, so we're going to deal with these next. What time is it now? 11.07. We'll try to get a few of these together. Now, it's weird. The tires are marked left and right. I understand why the suspension pieces were. Um, let me put this back in its little case. That's another thing. I like to keep my tools. My tools. In order, you know, so you can find them can't tell you how much time I've wasted just being like, where the fuck is that wrench? Where is that screwdriver? I just had it, you know? can't tell you how many times I've wasted time doing that. But yeah, I'm going to take the Dremel in here. Just drill it out a little bit and then use the files for the rest. And I'm just going to keep the contour of this angle just enough for the window to the winder, the winder just to slide right by it, and this top piece will still be there. Ah, I hate myself for doing that. But it happens. All right, let's put this aside. Let's put this aside. Let's see what's doing here. We got left wheels and tires. These tires are pretty badass. Look at that. Look at those. I want those on my truck. There's a couple of like little little print and schmegs. Try dry fitting this time. No gun problem. Yeah, no kidding, right? See, DJC says, it looks very cool, man. Thank you so much. All right, there is a, a little thing here. Is this supposed to be like a groove in here to grab it? No. So I'm definitely going to have to clean that out. But dry fitting, it definitely is uh, the way to go. Nah, I didn't think these were going to just slip together. <laughs> oh, why would they do that? All right. All right. Looks like I'm going to... Which one has the less lip? It's pretty equal. Nope. That's more. I'm going to use this as the inside, though. It has the... Um, that's where it adhered to the plate, the build plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the ring on the inside here. And I think this right here is the one to do the job. It's 
going to be on the inside. So even if I mess up a little bit, it's not going to be seen. I can hide my crimes. And I'm sure we're going to have to sand the wheel a little to get it onto the tire. That's all right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, almost. Almost already. Nice. So I could totally see myself building more of these kind of kits. You know, it's really cool to have these 3D printed kits that it's like just a real simple kind of just snap together. And, and, and they come on the tree. And it's usually a couple flat pieces and a couple flat pieces that go in like this to hold it together. Um, they get a lot of Star Wars vehicles, the Millennium Falcon and stuff like that. This is killing two birds with one stone. I'm smoothing out the area for the wheel to, to fit in. And it's toothing it up so I can glue it. All right. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to work on the wheel, the tire. I'm going to leave the wheel by itself. Or all alone, rather. I'm going to leave it, leave it be. And just get the tire to fit on the wheel as it is. I think that's going to be my easiest, my easiest uh, motorist operandi. <laughs> uh, almost, almost. Well, that lip is pretty much gone. Huh, interesting. Now, I print these in PLA. So as far as like a structural thing, they're not the strongest. It's not going to fall apart. But it's my understanding that ABS is better for the, for the whole deal there. If you're going to make something that's going to be like, you know, a functioning thing. Which I may play around with ABS for this. I don't know. We'll see. It works just fine as in, in PLA. Goes in the console just fine. All right. I'm wondering if I can't just get these to go together. Bam! Look at that. No glue. I was just going to say that. Let's see if we can't get it together without glue. It's one. And I'm going to close the glue. I'm not going to use glue. I will clean this though. I'll give you an idea of what's going on here. It's pretty big wheels. Pretty big. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. So this is the build plate side. We're going to continue with that theme. Continue with that theme. We'll try to do these without glue. And if there's one or two that need it, fine. I'm okay with that. I have it. I will say this, though. Normally when I'm doing something like this, I have either a video playing in the background, a movie, or music. I have none of the above right now. So bizarre to me. All right. Okay. Let me make sure that's... Let's see if we can't get that on. Oh, I can see where it's... Yeah, it's not gonna go right away. I thought I thought maybe maybe I'd get lucky. I'd get lucky. I'm 
try not to get this lip over here. Ooh, just, you know what? Let's scrape it a little more. Let's scrape just a little more. Oh, oh, that was dumb. Did you see what I just did there? Let's see the delay. There it is. Hold on. Oh, I just almost stabbed myself. I just watched it on the delay. Oh, wrong way. last time. There we go. There we go. We have two wheels. We have two wheels. So this print, let me see here. The two body parts took nine and a half hours. The wheels with pegs, meaning the two pegs that are holding the body together, that was five and a half. The suspension parts were four hours. These right here were four hours. The two guns were three and a half. The headlights was five minutes. <laughs> the windows were 50 minutes and the head, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, the headlights were 11 minutes. The original projection was five. I did it at a better quality. So, what side was the build plate? This side. So you can imagine. And it's funny, I sit there and I say to myself, wow, it's gonna take six hours to fucking print. But it, you know what? It, you don't sit there and stare at the fucking thing. Your initial thoughts are to be impatient. Because you want that thing now, you know? You're so used to going to a store or... Uh, ah, I just stuck myself. So that's why it was cut towards me. <laughs> the opposite of what they tell you to do. Um, or online and it just shows up done. But this stuff takes... Um, you know, it takes a lot of time to... Ooh, there's a... There's a thing right there. Oh! That's probably what made me jump. With the blade. There I go. Yeah, see, I stuck myself. I'll put a little super glue on it later. I doubt it's even going to be ready, but yeah, not even close. Not even close. The way I look at it is if you don't bleed at least once while building something, you didn't bleed. I mean you didn't you didn't you didn't do a good job job. That's not fucking bleeding like all over the place. I think it went in pretty pretty deep. I had a tetanus shot last year, so I'm fine there. There we go. There we go. That sounds so scary, doesn't it? Wow, that one's flush. I wonder. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, that's so scary. 
Oh, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> One more. Beautiful. Now we have three wheels. We gotta do three more, and then I think I'm gonna call it done for the day. Let me clean these off. I'm bringing the vacuum back out, guys. I'll do a countdown when I turn it on so you can turn your volumes. Your volume's down. Okay. Leave the three left together. And I guess technically all I have left to do is put the suspension pieces on and glue the wheels to it and then figure something out for this, the windshield, which I will do that before I do any of the other stuff that I just mentioned. All right, let me clean up a little bit. I like cleaning up my workspace often. Often. All right, so now I'm going to just peel off the epoxy. That was left over from earlier when I mixed it up. Perfect. Throw this away. Put that on my work cart. I don't know why I'm narrating everything I'm doing. All right, let's let's wipe this off. I was going to put this up on Etsy, but I'm probably not going to do that now. Between bleeding <laughs> on it and that rookie mistake, I'm not dry fitting everything. All right, vacuum's coming out in five, four, three, two, one. got three more wheels and three more sets of tires and then the main parts bag is done mm -hmm. what time we got what time we got all right 1123 can we do this before 1130 I doubt it I doubt it Am I on with OEB Pete later? Probably not. Um, when he does his thing, it's usually uh, there's usually kids and stuff around the house, and I, they just don't know to chill. I try not to do that. I was on his Amico All Access for a while in the early days when he first started doing them. As a matter of fact, me. I can't remember who it was. It was like there was like two or three of us that were always on in the beginning. And we were called the three amigos. <laughs> so we would go over the Mad Max's channel when he decided to branch out from just movies. Um and he was on the Amico kick as well. Still is. Um we would all be on his channel, too, doing a live discussion. I'd like to go back on it, but the scheduling is just off. He used to do them Sundays when I just, when I'm about to do my, I do a live stream on Instagram every Sunday at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, p.m. Um, just about every Sunday. You know, obviously, like this past one was Super Bowl Sunday, so there was no way in hell I was... I was going to stream. I wanted to watch Tom Brady get his seventh. You know, a lot of people think we here in New England were upset that he left. And we are. We are, but we get what was going on, you know. 
I mean, I see both sides of the coin. I mean, he wanted more money, and they didn't want to give it to him. He's the greatest of all time so far. <laughs> Maybe he was being a little greedy. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know. Clico Joe, what's up, buddy? But we were still rooting for him to get that seventh ring. All right, here we go. Loud, scary. Ugh. A little bit more. Beautiful. A little bit more. There we go. Mm, that's flush. Yeah, we'll come back on tomorrow after my solution with the gun. And we'll finish uh, putting this together. The only thing, again, I have to connect the suspension pieces to this. The suspension pieces to this. And then they just slot into here. So then we can just do a chitter chat. Maybe I'll rub my nipples. I'll rub my nipples for you. Get all oiled up. Or maybe it'll just be a quick fucking 10 minute stream. I don't know. I never know what I'm going to do. You're lucky I have pants on. I'll tell you that. I know Stevie T doesn't wear pants. That fucking dude's annoying. I enjoy a lot of his videos, but he's fucking annoying. Hey, hey, Stevie T. Pickle sandwiches. <laughs> fucking guy. Pickle sandwiches. You want to talk about anxiety, okay? I talk about having anxiety issues, and I do. And it, no lie, it prevents me from doing a lot of things. Like this. He got offered to play bass for, what is it, Dragonfire? Is that what they're called? And he originally accepted, and then because of his anxiety, he was like, yeah, I'm going to not do it. It sucks. I don't think anyone should let anxiety fuck with a dream job like that, but I totally get it. But, nah, his channel's entertaining. He's annoying, but his channel's entertaining. Oh, god damn, that one went even smoother. I don't know if I'm just less careful now and just let, getting it done. Oh, look at that, with two minutes to spare. I still have some some glue from it being on the build plate. I'm hoping to get a glass build plate here pretty soon because I'm tired of one side having a weird texture. You know? There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Nubbins right there. Oont. That's bugging me. All right, just a little bit more right here. Let's see. Oh, hey, OEB, what's up, buddy? We were just talking about you. Yeah, I know, in television, Telemico Vision guy. <laughs> the Candyman. You know, I never really got into that one. It's fun. Tony Todd's awesome. And the soundtrack is creepy. I don't know. I hope no one thinks I'm fucking racist because I don't think Candyman was a good movie. <laughs> It's not that it wasn't a good movie. I just never got into it. But the music for that is fantastic. All right, let's see. Here we go. No. No. I just moved the camera, didn't I? I just moved the camera. So what else is going on here? 
Now I understand psychological nudity. <laughs> Dude, believe it or not, in a lot of my videos, I kind of sneak something in there. The psychological nudity, though, in, in, in all fairness, it, it's not an original idea. Um, there was a guy I used to listen to when doing the 1039 truck, if you were here for the earlier conversation. Um, at night, his name was Michael Savage. He was a political commentary guy. A little more right-wing than anything. Um, I don't pick a side. I just go to the side of logic. I don't go left or right. Kind of, kind of hover in that middle. Um, it's kind of like with video games. I don't go to a brand. I go to where the games are. Uh, oh, maybe I should be doing this on camera. Um, but his intro would say stuff like that. So I kind of stole that from him. I'm not going to lie. Savage Nation. All right. Let's, um, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to clean this off. I won't bring the vacuum out again. Not, not while I'm on the stream, though. Let me dump this into the garbage can that's right over here. And we'll kind of mock it up. But I'm gonna I'm I'm saying we're done for now. So here's the uh the vessel, <laughs> the boat, minus the windshield that we have to uh repair. I might try a little bit of heat to get that out. We'll see. We'll see. This is what left. The left wheels, I don't know why that matters, but it does. Great. Yeah, pretty cool. I'll do it like this so you can kind of see it. So if you can see, there's a slot here and a slot here. Just like in Vegas, there's lots of slots. And, I mean, obviously, it's going to be sticking out from the vehicle. All right, so we're not going to be able to see a mock-up of it. <laughs> Too many angles of the dangle not being virtually in proportion with the heat of the meat. So, yeah, I guess that's that's it for today, boys and girls. Let me, uh, let me rectum fry, rectify this, this gun area so I can get this fucking windshield in. God damn it. And then we'll finish it up probably tomorrow. So, yeah. Hey, everyone who came in, thank you so much. I did not expect that. Um, like I said, keep an eye out for these. These will be coming very soon. Um, I'm going to do a whole set with just this right here. And then there will be some custom ones where you can ask for Pac-Man and the Monsters or Ghosts. Um, or maybe the Berserk Creatures or the, the characters from... Adventure. Those would take a little longer, obviously, because I have to print them to order. And these take about five to six hours at standard quality. I would want to print them at a higher quality um, just because. Uh, so it's probably going to be a little bit more because it's going to take a little longer. And, of course, it's custom work. Um, maybe I'll have a whole bunch ready just to print. But you get what I'm saying. Um, I'm pretty proud of these. I'm really proud of these. Um, it's going to be an actual thing that I'm designing and and trying to bring to the market and i'll just sell them on etsy for you know whatever 10 20 bucks i don't know and once again here's rk's 3d printed model that i built of course the game in which inspires all of this madness from today and now i gotta clean this up and get ready for work and uh there you go i did that for you guys guys thank you always so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope you all have an amazing day. Seriously. Um, we'll be back. We'll be back to finish this. I got a couple of really cool ideas for videos here in the next day or two. And um, that's it. So, guys, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.